Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're going to discuss upgrading your roller systems. And helping me out is Keith Prudish. He's with Rex Nord. Welcome to the floor, Keith. How are you doing? Hi, Tom. I'm good. Thanks for having us here. Awesome. Normally, we have a big old display out here, but we've got something huge sitting in front of us. Uh, we got a little uh, old-fashioned roller system, and uh, you're going to help us upgrade it, right? Today we're going to highlight the installation of the Rexnord Roller Upgrade System. That's awesome. Where do you want to start, Keith? Well, before we get started, it's important to understand that the Roller Upgrade System is a conversion kit to retrofit old, worn-out roller and some belt conveyors. Because these are hundreds of feet long, we needed to bring a smaller section here. Yeah, I remember these when I was a, a stock boy at a grocery store. We would just roll the boxes down, so I'm real familiar with these. We'll look at each of the components and then show how they are installed in the system with some video clips from a recent install at one of the Motion Industries distribution centers. Gotta love that Motion Industries, don't you? The first thing we like to do is inspect the kit and make sure we've gathered all the boxes and confirm none were damaged in shipping. Next, we'll lock out the electrical to the system and grab our PPEs because we'll be using power tools and disassembling the majority of the existing conveyor. Yeah, you said the uh, magic words right there, PPE. Always wear the PPE on the job. You know, we're not really disassembling anything here today, but uh, if you're doing it on the job site, whatever it calls for, PPE is so important. Now, you know, Keith, at first glance, you think that these conveyors are mostly rollers in a frame, but uh, watching the video, I can see that there's a lot more to them, isn't there? That's right, Tom. There's a whole mechanism to power each of these rollers that are spaced typically every three inches. There are belts, pulleys, bearings, specialty brackets, V-belts, line shafts, couplings, spools, O-rings, as well as speed reducers and motors. When some systems add in a pneumatic accumulation system, they get even more complex. At a recent install with Motion Industries, we got to see firsthand the underside of one of those systems and the roller upgrade system being installed directly above it on another production line. The roller upgrade system is a simpler design with fewer parts. Fewer parts means there is less to maintain in inventory. Gotta love that. Now, this removes hundreds of rotating parts, which can be a safety concern. Once we get the old system components removed from the frame, what's going to be our next step? The next step is to install our pre-assembled tail shaft and head shaft modules. The modules are almost identical with the head shaft module having a shaft extension for the speed reducer to be mounted on. We first position the tail shaft module to match the height of the conveyor next to it. After securing it, we'll install the head shaft module in the same fashion, but we have to cut or create a hole in the frame for the head shaft to pass through. Well, it looks pretty good so far. What's up next? Next time, we'll mount our cross brace supports every one to two feet, depending on the weight and spacing of the cases on the system. The cross braces are mounted at the same height as the end modules, and we use a string to quickly verify their matching height. You know, I can see how these cross braces provide additional structure to the conveyor. That's right, Tom. The cross braces provide the structure that we connect all the wear strips to. We'll start by installing the return wear strips first on the bottom side of the cross braces. We'll get the return wear strips roughly placed and check for proper clearance and position relative to the sprockets on the shaft support module. When we have checked it with a section of chain, we lock the return wear strips down. We'll add return wear strip shoes to receive the mat top after it leaves the head shaft sprockets to direct it back into the system. Next, we'll install the carry side wear strips. Keith, it looks like we have a differing profile for these. Am I right? That's correct, Tom. We have edge guides that are L-shaped for straight sections and profiled wear strips for our side flexing sections. Center guides are flat to support the middle of the mat top. We position and check these wear strips similarly to how we position the return wear strips below. Once we double check all the fasteners on the system, we'll start laying the mat top out on the system. You know, it looks like we're almost done though, Keith. Yes, Tom, we are close. We'll get the speed reducer mounted and check it for proper rotation. In a matter of hours, we have taken an old maintenance intensive roller conveyor and converted it to a state of the art material handling system. You know, it's nice when you can upgrade systems to extend their life and improve their performance instead of scrapping them. Now, what are some of the applications that you can apply this roller upgrade system to? We have applied the system on transport sections that are straight and curved, accumulation sections, inclines, declines, merge tables, metering, and brake belts. Motion Industries was so impressed with the system that they are applying it in many of their own distribution centers. Well, Keith, thanks so much. We really appreciate all your help today. 
Thank you, Tom. Keith Prudish, he is with Rexnord. Now, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, don't forget to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Hopefully this will help you with your practical application. And as always, wear the proper PPE, no matter what the job calls for. And also, make sure you look for other Motion Industries how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. And uh, thanks for watching today. I appreciate it.